Hey everyone, welcome back and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different as you can tell. We are going to be ranking the top programming languages specifically for coding interviews. And let me know in the comments what you think of this new style of content. I'm sure you guys know I read pretty much all of the comments. I don't always reply to all of them, but definitely let me know what you think and let me know if you have any suggestions on future types of videos that you'd like to see from the channel. So let's get right into it. You can see there's a bunch of languages down here. To be honest, some of these, I'm not even sure what they are. I recognize some of these logos, but I have no idea what they are. And okay, let's just get this out of the way. What is HTML doing here? So I'm pretty sure HTML is not a programming language and it's definitely not gonna work for coding interviews, which I'm sure you know. So that's gonna have to go in the F tier. And I really don't know who the heck put LaTeX on here. Is that a programming language? Because as far as I know, it's just for formatting documents and things. So this LaTeX has to go in the F tier. Do not do your programming interviews in LaTeX. And oh my God, there's just so much stuff here that I don't really recognize. This logo looks familiar. I'm not sure what this is. And yeah, so SQL, uh, unless it's an actual database interview, don't do an algorithms interview in SQL. Let's start putting some of this. Okay, MATLAB. Yeah, that's gonna have to go in F tier. Okay, so let's just forget about the irrelevant languages in this case. Let's start with C actually. So. C was actually the first language I ever learned for programming, and I really like it. It's very good for what it's needed for, usually low-level operating system stuff, but it doesn't really have a lot of built-in data structures. So typically, people do not use C for coding interviews, so I'm going to put that in D tier. I mean, in some cases, you might be able to get away with it. But looking at the next language that's coming up, C++, which is you know nearly identical to C in syntax, it's really an extension of C. You know, you do get in this case, you do get the built in data structures. You do get object oriented programming. And C++, even if people are not familiar with it, like even if your interviewer doesn't know C++, the syntax is pretty readable. You know, a lot of languages actually copied the C and C++ syntax style. And it's pretty concise to write C++ code if you're good at it. You can actually get away with, you know, you don't actually have to write a lot of boilerplate. So I think this is A or S tier. I'm kind of struggling. I'm gonna put it in A tier. For now, we might move it up to S tier depending on how we do the rest of the list. I think C++ is a very good choice if you're good at it and you know how to use the standard template library. And let's finish up the last C coding language, C Sharp or C++++. And I think this is a pretty good, it's a decent language because yeah, it has the same syntax as C and C++, but it's a lot more object oriented geared. It's a lot, it's a bit like dumbed down when you think of C++, like C++ is a pretty hardcore programming language. You get a lot of features, you get a lot of control, you manage your own memory, uh, but you're probably not going to be using a lot of those features within a coding interview for like, you know, a 30 line algorithm or something like that. C++ C Sharp has garbage collection. The downside of C Sharp is it's like Java. It has, you know, a lot of boilerplate. It can take a lot of code to do what you want. You have to like actually type a ton when compared to C++. So I'm gonna put this uh, C or B tier. I think if you're good at C++, you definitely go with C++. And by the way, I actually asked you guys six months ago which programming language you use for coding interviews. Most people answered Python back then, and I asked again pretty recently, and it looks like we had a bit more of an even distribution. I always assumed that the vast majority of viewers were Python people in coding interviews, but it turns out we've got a lot of C++ and Java people. So I'm gonna skip these four over here, but let's do this one. This I think is Go. So I've, I haven't done a ton of Go programming, but it's pretty good in that it, I think it has like the, the data structures you need for the most part. And the syntax is pretty readable. It's pretty concise. So I, I wanna put this in the same tier as C++, but I feel like uh, maybe your interviewer might not be familiar with some of the syntax. Maybe that'll throw them off. So I'm gonna put this in B tier for now. But I do like Go. I just think some people, depending on where you're interviewing, it might not be the best. Okay, now let's get to everybody's favorite, or <laughs> you know, in my opinion, the least favorite, Java. So I do not like Java when it comes to programming interviews. It has just a ton of boilerplate. You know, just to just to use a simple hash map, you got to type out so much stuff. 
and just, even to retrieve and put items into a into a hash map in Java, I just really don't like the syntax. C++ did it better. I don't know why Java had to go and like change things and somehow make them worse. It is very similar to C Sharp. I slightly prefer using C Sharp though. I'm gonna put this in C tier. The good thing about Java is everybody can read it. Most people, you know, have seen Java code before and a lot of people know Java. If you're familiar with it, you can stick with it for coding interviews. It's just that it takes a lot to just type stuff out. It has all the features, it has all the data structures you want. It just takes so much to type. You know, when you're trying to do like a DFS, a depth first search, you don't wanna be fighting against the programming language. And actually, I, I think it's similar enough to C Sharp. I'm gonna put this in B tier. It's a pretty, it's solid. Most people I think use Java for programming interviews, even though I think there are better alternatives, including C++. And JavaScript is up next. So JavaScript is relatively easy to write. It's relatively easy to read for most interviewers. Most interviewers, I think, will have written some JavaScript before. It's a pretty common programming language. I think it's the number one or number two most common. Though I think it's missing some built-in data structures like heaps and things. It has hash maps, but I want to put this in B or C tier. I think we can leave this in B tier, but I have no idea how people who use JavaScript in interviews, how do you guys get around the you know built-in data structures? You just tell your interviewer, is it okay if I assume this data structure works? Or do you, you know, do you have some library that you know of that you use for that? I don't know. Okay, so what the heck is this? Can somebody tell me what programming language this is? I'm just not even gonna touch this. I'm just gonna put it back where it came from. Let's just leave that over there. So this I know is Kotlin. Kotlin is part of the Java family, but it really improves Java in that it kind of get, gets rid of that big problem of all that boilerplate code. You don't have to type as much. I'm gonna make an educated guess with Kotlin and say that it does have a pretty readable syntax because that's kind of the problem. You don't want to use like a language that people might not be familiar with and they might not be able to read the code very easily. But assuming it has the built-in data structures and everything that Java does, I think I'll make an educated guess and put this in A tier. If you're familiar with Kotlin, let me know if I'm wrong. But I think Kotlin is a solid language. Okay, out of all these remaining, I'm gonna choose one last language to put into our tier list and it's gonna be Python. And I think if you have been watching this channel, you definitely know where I'm gonna put this language. This is S tier. It is by far, in my opinion at least, the easiest to write. It's basically like you're writing pseudocode. Like you don't even have to think about the programming language. You just really have to think about the logic that you're coding up. It's like you're coding in English. Now there are some downsides to Python. You know, people know about the space issue, keeping everything indented, but I think Python is just so easy to write. You know, you watch some of my videos and you see how I just turn a problem. I turn a hard problem and make it really simple. And you'd think that, you know, doing some of that Python magic is cheating. Like you can zip stuff. You can do some cool stuff with hash maps, loops, recursion. And you'd think that stuff would be coding, but interviewers in many cases actually don't care about that. They just want to know, can you, you know, do the logic of the problem? Can you explain the algorithm? They don't want to watch you fight with Java syntax and type, you know, a super long string or a really long variable name or do something crazy. They don't really care about that. They want to see you solve the problem. Python is very good for that. Oh, and I just noticed I put C in D tier. I'm going to move it in, in the C tier. Just I don't want to miss the opportunity to put it in C tier. But yeah, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. You know, I'm sure people are going to have their arguments for using Java. I'd love to hear them. It's just that, man, I just do not like. The biggest thing is just that when you have a hash map, which, you know, hash map is like the single most common data structure in coding interviews. And I just hate the way you have to declare them. Even the methods, you can't even get or put items into a hash map without a method in Java. Even C++ lets you do that pretty easily. So like, you know, if, if you're someone who likes learning new languages, or is you know able to do that or you know don't mind putting in a little bit of effort i feel if you're doing java you should switch over to c plus plus because there's a couple features first of all the syntax is nearly identical in c plus plus as java is and yeah, C++ has pointers, but you don't really even need to use pointers when you're doing most coding interviews, I'm pretty sure. A couple features, the standard template library in C++ is it's just better, in my opinion, than in Java. 
That's one. And two, you can pass variables by reference in C++. That's really helpful when you're doing things like recursion and you wanna keep track of like a global variable or something like that. It can make things pretty easy in C++. And you know, C++ really should be in S tier if you're good enough at it. I just put Python up here because it's just a little bit easier. It's a little bit more readable, easier to type. But you know, when you get good at C++, it is top tier. And I'm sure many of you know that. This was actually the second language I learned. It was the first object-oriented programming language that I actually learned. And I know, you know, the power of C++, all the features that it's got. So I hope you found this video helpful. Definitely like and subscribe if you did to support the channel. I appreciate it a lot. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future content and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.